This is the Samsung Series 5 Ultra that was almost an Apple MacBook. And as you see here, with the shiny keys, the beautiful chassis made of aluminum, this has more similarities with Apple MacBooks than actual other Samsungs or Asus's or whatever other non-Apple products. And it's a very interesting choice of design. This Samsung has an uh, i5 processor, uh, 12 gigs of RAM. It has a very sturdy chassis that doesn't bend easy and very good travel on the keys. On one side, it features two USB 2.0 out inputs and a card reader. On the other side, it has a micro HDMI, headphone jack, full HDMI, USB 3.0, Ethernet, and power hole, which is broken because we bought it for $10. The touchpad is one of the best things on this laptop, which I truly like. It's really smooth and really responsive. Meanwhile, the lid and the body itself are very, very slim, especially when you consider that it's over 10 years old, this laptop. The travel between the keys is amazing. And not to mention, the touch on this screen is unmatched by any laptops that I've ever owned. And now, we'll show you what I'm going to install on this one and why I'm gonna install what I'm going to. Let's begin. And believe it or not, you know, when I saw this one, I couldn't just pass by. It was $10. Come on, guys. You, you wouldn't pick it up for $10 if given the chance? Yeah, I, I believe so. The problem that we're having with this one here, let me show you on the back, is... Even though this computer is quite a few years old, huh? This right here. This right here is the thingy that connects the hard drive or the cable that connects the SATA connector here. Yeah, I don't have that. I'll have to order it. Under here, there is the RAM. It has actual integrated RAM inside, if I'm not wrong, around four gigs. Plus, you can add another uh, RAM slot here. It's only one, not two. I added an 8 gig, because why not? And I'm gonna use it with a live operating system. And that operating system will be Android 12. Because this laptop has probably the best touch screen that I've ever had in my life. And uh, I will demonstrate that to you in a sec. Let me just close this one down. Okay, let's do it a flippity flippity and open it up. And uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna demonstrate that to you, but just give me a moment. I have my uh, Bliss OS 15, which is a design of Android 12 on a unironically and un unapologetically <laughs> Samsung USB. And I'm just gonna plug it in this computer and start from there. And I'm gonna just start the live CD. I'm not gonna install it because obviously where do I install it? And this is Bliss OS. And as you see right here, you may not see me because you don't need to see. There's nothing to see on me. Click enter and we're entering Bliss OS. And this opening is probably one of the best that's in the market, in my opinion. In my opinion, this is just, this is something else. This Lotus or whatever you want to call it, it is something else. And this uh, kind of vibration you might be seeing here is not actually the camera, uh, is not actually the screen, but it's the camera. So just bear with it. And here it's asking us what do we want as a default launcher. I'm gonna go with quick setup or whatever you call that. And this is Bliss OS inside. Why do I say this is like uh, Android 12? Well, guess what? Look at the menu first. This is the menu. Boom, goes down. Now. Let me put the drawer down. Do you see anything very familiar right here? Anything? This is, you can turn on off the microphone, auto rotation, screen recording, airplane mode on, airplane mode off, screen recording here. Um, I'm gonna let it record audio and no, 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 all that stuff. Show stop dot, yes. And I'm gonna click start. And here, for example, let's open gallery, okay? I have nothing on it, but we're just gonna do it here, allow it, 
and I close the gallery, right? Now, how do I close the app itself that's open? Well, 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 just like that. Just like any Android 12 right here. And you swipe it up. And this is this is something that a lot of people are not even talking about this Bliss OS 15. Yes, it's an alpha mode. I understand that. But this operating system has a tremendous potential to become probably the best operating system ever especially for older laptops guys this laptop may look new yes it has aluminum a super you know responsive touch and all that good stuff but this is over 10 years old this laptop and look at bliss os 15 on it look how fast this is this is this is something beyond my brain it really boggles my brain how is that even possible to make this laptop that I thought I'm gonna let it die just work perfectly now. And yeah, that's that's all I had to tell you today. And you can do this with the gestures with two fingers on the pad, lift up for menu like that. And lift, you put the cursor at the top of the screen, for example, to drop down, to do the drop down menu, wherever the cursor goes, as you see right there. And this is, this is one of the best operating systems that I've probably seen in a long, long time. And yes, I've been a fan of Bliss OS for so many years now. This is not the first time that I use their uh, software. Uh, but with this Bliss OS 15, I think 15.3 or 0.4, it's still in alpha even as we speak right now. This is amazing. This is something extraordinary that I would say, especially if you install it on a laptop like this the slick beautiful design of this samsung laptop that we bought for ten dollars just look at it you would never think this is an over 10 year old laptop and with that said i just wanted to share this with you guys and uh, let you know what i have here i i really couldn't hold myself from showing this to you so bear with it <laughs> and with that said we'll see you on the next one and thank you for watching bye